Reading Scamanders and welcome back to another Warpath video. In this video, we're going to be doing a quick recap about the new roadmap that was just released by Warpath uh, for the next basically three months. We have March, April and June content over here. And uh, basically, this is going to be the, the first the, like until the first half of the year, uh, what's going to happen. There's a lot of things going to happen and we're going to discuss all of them in this video. We still have a separate video about the new uh, migration system. So we uh, we will just mention it in this video quickly and then we'll have a more a, a, like deep further explanation about that. But for now, let's start talking about these new changes. So first off, we have the new officers. We have two main new officers coming in. One of them is going to be for ground units and another one is going to be for fighter planes. By the way, there's a new officer coming in. We, are, we didn't yet review that officer. We're going to review it very soon once the new update hits and we get the test server so that we can test it out with you guys and show you exactly that new officer. But for these two officers, we're definitely going to be also reviewing them and giving you some updates about them in March once they drop for sure. Now, in addition to that, we have officer skill slots. Older officers, such as basically um, Percy and whatnot, these officers will become more viable again in the officer skill slot, which is going to be really good. So they're going to be more useful and definitely gonna like allow you to actually use them more uh, in the game because right now the new officers are kind of being a little bit more OP and older wards are kind of losing their charm at this point right now because the newer officers are like just way more uh, stronger at this point. Basically, this will help out a lot uh, in, in regaining some kind of attention and highlighting those officers as well. In terms of the migration, there's a new rework coming in. So basically, immigration between the servers will no longer require immigration commands uh, if the old criteria are met. And there are multiple other criteria. We're going to be discussing those in a separate video. So I would highly recommend checking that out once it drops. It's going to drop probably tonight as well after this video. So definitely check that out as well. Now, there's a two year anniversary event, and we know that whenever there's an anniversary event happening, uh, there's always um, massive, massive rewards and very specific ones that will allow you to kind of get uh, some specific items and limited items. And definitely, this is one of the times that I would highly recommend getting the packages or whatever items that are in this event, because usually they are very limited and they give you a lot of return when you get them. So it's always actually good to get those uh, like itemizations or uh, base skins or whatnot uh, when they drop because they're going to be limited and it will give you a lot of boosts and bonuses and a lot of value for sure. So uh, there's going to be a lot of uh, events happening as well in this period and this is all happening in March still. There's also something I'm super excited about and it's going to be super useful for me because um, most of the time when I'm at home, I play Warpath on PC. I don't play it on my phone. Even though it's it's still smooth on the phone, especially with light mode on, but I still prefer my PC because it's kind of like much smoother over there. I, I can like play around with the settings and whatnot, and it's just like much bigger screen. So looking at all this action right now, we will have a dedicated version for PC for Warpath as well. So this is going to be amazing because when you actually play that version, you won't have any lags or whatnot. All the lag that's happening with the emulators that are currently playing on is going to be gone. And that's actually something that is big and definitely a, a massive change for anyone that's actually playing it on PC. In April, we have two new things happening. Ultimate Conquest. Now, this is a very massive event, and this is actually one of the events that I'm looking forward to. So Ultimate Conquest is basically all the best alliances will join a special Ultimate Conquest, while other players can bet on which alliance is going to win. So it's basically like a massive conquest of the best alliances across all the servers. And the best alliance that actually wins in this contest is going to be uh, like the winner. And everyone can actually bet on which alliance can actually win. So this is kind of a really cool idea. I really like this because it kind of brings a more competitive uh, a, like kind of depth to the game. And it just allows all these strong alliances and big whales and massive players in the, within the game and really skilled players as well. You don't have to just like be a whale and just spend money on the game. You have to be really skilled in order to win of these, uh, one, one of these, because if their alliance is not extremely organized, if they're not extremely skilled, and if they don't have also big spenders, to be fairly honest, they won't be able to win this. But there's so many factors online, and this is going to be really interesting. 
It's also really interesting to see which map this is going to be introduced in. Is it going to be a new map? Is it going to be like kind of a special map just for this specific event? Uh, it's super interesting to see, and I'm definitely super excited to know more information about this. And once I get it from the devs, I will definitely share it with you guys for sure. And then, in addition to that, we'll have the Road to Fearlessness. This is basically a brand new PvE game mode where you defeat enemies and come across stronger opponents each time you climb a level. So this is going to be a really interesting event. I really like PvE events and I definitely wanted one since a long time uh, because um, as, long, as much as conquests uh, or conquests are actually really good in this game, I really think that uh, we do need more PvE and PvP smaller events, you know? Such as uh, like events that Alliance versus Alliance just for like a couple of hours uh, where you fight like in an arena or something like one or hour or two hours or something like that. That would be really fun if it's like on a weekly basis or something like that. And this one over, over here, the more PvE events, the more things that you can do on a daily basis within the game. So that's something really I'm looking forward to and I'm definitely excited about for sure. When it comes to June, so we have two new things and also I'm super excited about these as well. Uh, because we have the anti-tank gun AA rework. We have a complete rework for the anti-tank guns. I already have one upgraded, uh, but it's not maxed out. I was actually thinking of disassembling it at some point, even though it's really good. But to be fairly honest with you guys, at this point, it's not really that great because it is great against super heavies, but otherwise it doesn't do the work. And that is what it's it's kind of missing right now. But this one over here, what they're going to do is going to be, it's not going to only be highly effective against tanks, but it will also be able to penetrate Air Force units. So this is going to be really interesting uh, because we want to see exactly how it's going to be able to penetrate Air Force units, like how exactly are they are going to be uh, able to rework it. So it says anti-tank gun AA rework, which means that it's going to be anti-air rework. So we're not exactly sure how that works, but I'm super excited to see. And uh, because we already have the uh, light tanks that can do uh, like and can attack Air Force units. But let's see how the rework for this one is going to be uh, because it definitely requires a rework. And uh, because at this point in the game, it's not worth investing in uh, at all. And then we have something super exciting as well. And it's super weapons. And these super weapons are currently in development and will bring in new combat strategies to the battlefield. So what I'm guessing right here is that you will have... Um, Kind of alliance skills where you can activate these weapons and based on them you can just like basically do, like maybe do a massive explosion in one area and do like massive damage to all the enemies in that area so it's gonna be super exciting uh, to actually see what they can do with this and it definitely will add a lot of strategies for sure and i'm super excited to see what can uh come up with this so that is a super exciting first half of the year uh we are really excited to see all these changes come in place uh, especially within March. So in March, we have a lot of things coming in and uh, we, we can see that there's massive changes. So let's see uh, how everything works out. And hopefully nothing of these is going to be super OP or uh, like everything will be balanced. And uh, I'm actually mostly excited about PvE event and super weapons to be fairly honest with you guys. I think those are going to be super fun to try out and see. Please let me know in the comments below what are your thoughts about these updates and uh, it, like let me know what do you want to see in the game in the next period. I can probably take your suggestions and champion them and suggest them to the devs so that they would uh, be able to see that hey this is what the community needs and uh, maybe they can work on one or two ideas of yours. So make sure to leave them in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching and we'll definitely see you on the next one. Bye bye.